just start off laughing. Welcome to Inside IU Softball with Coach Garner. I'm Jerry Gray with you. We're going to talk all things Indiana softball. And Coach, you've been mean. You've been mean to people in the state of Indiana. You beat Purdue two out of three taking that series and then a nice shutout victory against Indiana State in the midweek. Well, it's anytime we can beat in-state rivals, it's wonderful. And, you know, we're not done yet. We have Ball State next week. So... You know, it's kind of like, we'll get it all of them we can. <laughs> Brian Meyer's been playing very well for your team. Yes, she has. She's, um, you know, I think when we moved her into the infield and we've kind of moved her around the lineup a little bit, I just think she's starting to get comfortable. And the more comfortable she gets, the better she gets. Madison Dietrich against Indiana State got her first hit of the season coming back from injury. Nice story there. Well, she hasn't really seen the field in two years, so she really has put in a lot of work. And, you know, it, it was tough for her, but she's had to play a role, and, and she's done a great job, so I was excited for her. And then Laura Olson, a very nice performance against Indiana State. Yes. Two hit shutout. I talked to her sister earlier this morning. She said she should have had a no-hitter, but let two get away. So tough, <laughs> tough older sister, but pitching very well. Well, that is a tough older sister, and you know, obviously the older sister was a pitcher also, so she understands those things. But I can tell you that the two hits she gave up were actually on good pitches that they just kind of fisted out there. She threw extremely well. I was very, very pleased to see that because you know she's been coming around as as this season has gone, and I've said this all along. My pitching staff just keeps getting better each week, and which is what they've needed to do. And Laura's just been right on the cusp of you know breaking out, but I was so so happy for her yesterday. You know, there's a special place in my heart for student athletes who do especially well in games against Purdue, and it, it crosses all sports. <laughs> Jay Edwards was that guy in men's basketball here at Indiana. Uh, football, Austin Starr kicked that 49-yard field goal to win the bucket game. Always have a special place in my heart. Wagner gets up for those Purdue games. Wagner gets up for the Purdue games, absolutely. And, you know, she has been very consistent since we started Big Tens. And before that, she was, I mean, doing well. But it's kind of like she's just come on and kind of come into her own. And, you know, she's really been, been a team leader all the way around the field. You know, a lot of communications, playing a great third base right now. And, you know, she just needs to keep doing whatever it is she's doing. Schedule did your team no favors. You took on two of the best teams in the conference to start off in Michigan and Ohio State, and then Purdue was off to a great start to the season. So you've taken on three of the conference's best. How do you feel after uh, three weekends of play about your team? Well, I, you know, obviously I feel like we should have had a couple more wins. I think we let one get away from us against Ohio State for sure. Um, I think we let one get away from us against Michigan, but, you know, we're competing, and that's what I've asked them to do, get better each game, and, and I really feel like we've done that. We've had kind of some nagging things going on that, you know, obviously if, if we get a little bit healthier, that would be helpful, but, you know, they're just coming out and competing. They're doing exactly what I'm asking them to do, and the season's long, so, you know, we still have five weekends left and uh, so many great things that can happen. Food always tastes better after victories, but on the way home last night uh, from your victory against the Indiana State Sycamores, apparently you stopped in an off-the-beaten-path barbecue place in Terre Haute. Pretty solid eats? Uh, it was absolutely fabulous. And, you know, our general stopping point on the way home is Fazoli's. And, uh, the, of course, since we won, I opted out of that one. And what a great choice that was. So did you have ribs, <laughs> you have pulled pork, you have barbecue chicken. What route did you go? Me personally, um, I went with the brisket nice. and the ribs, and it was amazing. Well, now this upcoming weekend you got Penn State, uh, a team on the road. All three games are going to be on BigTenNetwork.com, so fans will have a chance to follow the Hoosiers on television this weekend. What do you know about Penn State? I know that Penn State is in every game. I know they're competing, and... You know, if we come out and take care of our business, we'll be all right. But we can't play their game. We need to play our game, which is score early and, you know, take care of our business. All right. That wraps up this week's installment. Thanks so much for joining us on Inside IU Softball with Coach.